Hello ThinkPad fans, this one is for you. If you uh, think back to the mid to late 90s when 486 ThinkPads were, well, very common, most of them did not have CD-ROM drives. I believe the first ThinkPad was a 755 CD that came with a CD-ROM drive. I think it was Pentium at that or a very fast 486. So what we have here is an original, brand new, actually. It says new here on the box. The box is a little worse for wear, but it is indeed new. External CD-ROM drive. In the box, we have original documentation. It's all there. Warranty information. Driver's disc. IDE PC card with proprietary interface cable and then we have the CD-ROM unit itself which of course is in this case new and unused very sleek little unit compared to some of the other CD-ROM type players drives of the day uh, this would be another example here this is a Panasonic SCSI CD-ROM drive which takes AA batteries and doubles as an audio CD player. Don't think that fits in my pocket though. <laughs> yeah, maybe the other pants though. Okay, so as you can see this one's definitely a better design. It appears to have a rechargeable battery pack which I would need two hands to undo. Here's the back. We have a game port type connector, but it's not for your joystick, I don't think. And then we have your interface port, and then we have power to charge the onboard batteries. It's dated September of 1998, model 1969-011. And yeah, let's kind of take a look at some of the original options or accessories that were packaged with this when it was new. I see just the drives on eBay. Never anything with them, let alone the card. Looks like you got some nice speakers here. And these are really neat because according to the directions, you can either attach them to the CD player and have like a small ghetto blaster, or you could actually put these on each side of your ThinkPad for external sound. You have various clips. These are the actual speaker mounts where it clips onto the side of your ThinkPad. I think they have an illustration of that somewhere. Aha, uh -huh, right here. Okay. And it looks like this is also powered off of double A's if you choose to do so. So Cables, clips, speakers, charger with uber short IEC power cord. That's neat. See you around driving directions. Now, is this for sale? It is for the right price. I am more interested actually in tracking down a 730 or 750 series ThinkPad to run OS2 Warp on and package this with. And yes, it does say in the instructions that it is compatible with OS 2. Version 3 and version 4 of OS 2 Warp. And DOS 5.0 and later. So, pretty neat actually. I like it. It's interesting that it's IDE interface. And then I ended up having the other CD-ROM drive, which is SCSI. So there's a look, a small piece of history. Thumbs up if you like. Have a good one.